Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see Indian standard specifications and the sections. What are the various sections available in design of steel structures that we are going to see in this video. So, as I told you in the last videos that the Indian standard sections which we are going to use they are known as rolled steel sections as they are casted in factories transported to the site they are known as rolled steel sections and they are also known as hot rolled steel sections okay so what are the various sections that we have that we are going to see in this video so the first type of section is i section it will look like this if you draw it properly and remember that uh, that this corners they will be curled one they will not be very sharp one you have to draw them like this they will not be the sharp one but they will have curved edges like this okay that you have to remember and see if you want to find out the area moment of inertia there are various properties such as moment of inertia about xx axis moment of inertia about yy axis area total cross sectional area then radius of gyration about rxx that is rxx ryy about xx yy okay so all these properties are available in which book you have to refer one book that is known as steel table okay so from steel table you have to take the values of this ixx iy for a particular section now why we have to refer this see as i told you these corners are not very sharp but they are curved ones so it is very difficult to find out the properties because if it is proper rectangular section like this if it is like this i section small i section like this you can easily determine you may have determined it in uh, SOM, strength of material subject you may have done this but these are some curved portions like this so you have to find out the properties if you want to know the properties of these various sections you have to refer the steel table so you keep ready this steel table we are going to use this so many times in the next upcoming videos also uh, when we are taking the numericals also you will have to refer this steel table so keep ready that so the first type of section as i told you is the i section so what are the various subtypes of this i section first one is isjb now what is isjb indian standard junior beam what it will stand it will stand for as indian standard junior beam that is the first type of i section then we have islb indian standard will be same indian standard now what l stands for light and b you know beam so islb will stand for indian standard light beam then we have ismb that is indian standard medium flange beam medium flange beam now what is medium medium you know medium it is a large medium small but what is the flange see this part this particular part this one it is known as flange okay this part is known as flange and this one this one this one is known as web and again flange okay this names you also must know that this is called as flange this is called as web and this is again flange okay so if a particular beam section that is i section has medium flange then that will be ismb okay they are named differently okay then we have iswb indian standard wide flange wb stands for wide flange beam okay beam then we have ishb indian standard heavy beams is stands for indian standard and they will be heavy beams okay so this is the classification of sections what we are uh, looking in this video we are seeing indian standard specifications and various sections that are available so indian standard sections are first one we have seen i section it will look like this ah one more thing the notations of this see this one will be 
denoted by BF that is width of flange this one will be TF that is thickness of flange then this one will be denoted by TW that is thickness of web okay so this notations you also must know that is width of flange thickness of flange and thickness of web okay let's see the second type of rolled steel section so the second one is channel section now how it will look like see it will look like this again you have to draw the curved part like this they should not be very sharp it will be a curved part like this curved edges so the first type of channel section is isjc that is indian is will stand for indian only okay indian standard now what about jc junior channel okay so it will be indian standard junior channel then islc again indian standard will remain as it is light channel l stands for light as i told you and it will be channel okay so indian standard light channel then we have indian standard medium channel now medium mc ismc so m stands for medium and c stands for channel medium channel then we have issc that is indian standard special channel this one is new we have not seen s in case of i i section so indian standard special channel okay so these are the various types of channel section talking about the notations this one will again width of flange ah this one is also the total depth which is denoted by h okay you have to remember this one in case of i section also which we have seen in the previous one like this this one the complete depth is known as h means it is denoted by h total depth of i section and total depth of channel section that will also be denoted by h only okay now the third type of section is angle section now whether it is equal angle whether it is unequal angle it will be denoted by isa now you will tell what what exactly it is let me show you what is equal angle and what is unequal angle let us consider first of all what is angle angle is like this l section is known as your angle section like this and another one suppose it is like this now what is the difference you observed let us consider it is denoted as a and this one is b okay this one is a and this one is b if you observe this diagram properly you will observe that a is approximately equal to b that is length of one leg is equal to length of another leg but in this case a is somewhat greater than b or let's take the opposite case like this if you see a section like this means it will be like this it will be a straight line okay so this one is let us consider a and this one is b so in this case l this one is longer and this one is shorter even horizontal one can also be drawn like this if you want to arrange it like this so in this case b is greater than a okay and in this case again a is greater than b so in this this part this complete one part this one is called as leg okay and this one is called as another leg okay so what is isa so we have two types of isa both will be denoted as isa only indian standard angle indian standard angle but one will be equal angle and another one will be unequal angle now what is unequal angle what is unequal angle equal angle means both the legs are of same length and unequal means both the length are of different length so isa stands for indian standard first one will be unequal unequal angle indian standard unequal angle second one will be indian standard equal angle okay so in this way you have to note it unequal and equal you don't name it as 
I S U A and I S E A. That is the wrong way. Okay. Both the angles will be denoted as I S A only, and they will be equal and unequal. Okay. Even in some case, you have, you will have, we will see the uh, in next videos. Uh, you have one concept that is net area. If you want to find out the cross sectional area of this lake, you can find out now. But if there is a hole like this, there is a hole for the bolt provision of bolt in this. So if it is like this, this area has to be deducted now. Then there is a concept of net area that we have to see in next videos. You will also see that okay and so why i was uh, telling this see when you make hole in these legs what happens these legs let us consider that this is the angle if you made hole in this so there will be some diameter of hole and there is another concept diameter of bolt so diameter of bolt will be denoted by d or d0 and diameter of hole dh it will be denoted by dh okay that is dh means diameter of hole and d naught or just d it will be diameter of bolt and there is slight difference i will tell you what dh and d0 in numericals we will see that but just remember there are two concepts diameter of hole and diameter of bolt while we make punch or if you make hole in the angles or any sections then the next type of rolled steel section is t section okay so the first type of t section is isnt now what isnt stands for it stands for indian standard normal t bar how you will define it what is isnt it will be indian standard normal t bar clear now what is isht indian standard indian standard will remain same heavy flanged t bar this will stand for indian standard heavy flanged t bar then the next one is isst indian standard special legged this will stand for indian standard special legged t bar t bar will remain same then we have indian standard that is islt what it stands for indian standard light legged l stands for light light legged t bar okay and last one isjt indian standard junior t bar what it stands for indian standard junior t bar okay so these are the various types of sections rolled steel sections in case of t section how it will look like it will look like this t sections the section will be like this again the third one draw it properly again this one will be what width of flange this one will be thickness of flange this one will be thickness of web clear then the next one rolled steel plates rolled steel plates so first one is ispl now what is ispl indian standard plate it will be indian standard plate clear that is ispl now what is indian standard plate for example uh, let us assume a dimension of 1500 by 1000 by 8 mm so what does that mean it means there is a steel plate there is a steel plate whose dimensions are 1500 by 1000 and thickness is 8 mm so this is that plate and it is made up of steel okay and its thickness is for example if it is 8 so it is its thickness is greater than 5 mm okay so if the thickness is 5 mm then it will be considered as plate now what about isst second one is isst that i'll show it here is 
S T. What it stands for? Indian Standard Strips. What it will stand for? Indian Standard Strips. Okay. Now, what does that mean? For example, I am writing Indian Standard Strip like this. ISST. 1600 by 1.4 so what does that mean it means there is a strip of 1600 mm whose thickness is how much 1.4 like this okay so in this way there are various sections available now the next section is rolled steel flats it will be denoted by isf now what ISF stands for Indian Standard Flats. Clear? Indian Standard Flats. Okay. So there are various sections. You can write so many sections. You can see it in which co which book I told you. You have to refer steel table for that. Okay. You can download the PDF if you search on Google steel table pdf on google you will get a pdf file the first file you can download it and you can check there are various sections various properties all the properties are given as i told you ixx moment of inertia about ixx iyy that is uh, about xxx x axis y axis even zxx and zyy is also there section modulus what is that section modulus so they are also given in that okay so you have to refer that we will refer it in the next videos okay so this was the video on indian standard specifications and sections thank you